My Fitbit is dying and I have to go to work in an hour and 10 minutes. <laughs> I don't want to go to work. Ba, ba, ba. I don't want to go to work. Ba, ba, ba. I don't want to go to work. Ba, 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 ba. I don't want to go to work. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about Lady and the Tramp 2 Scamps Adventure. Lady and the Tramp 2 Scamps Adventure is a 2001 directed video animated release. I've covered everybody except one director in previous videos, so they'll be listed and linked in the description. The one director I haven't covered before, his name is Janine Russell, and she is best known for Captain Planet and the Planeteers, Aladdin and the King of Thieves, Pocahontas 2 Journey to a New World, and this. The film stars Scott Wolf, Alyssa Milano, Chaz Palmin, Terry, Jeff Bennett, and Jody Benson. Scott Wolf plays Scamp and is best known for Meet My Valentine, The Night Shift, Perception, and Party of Five. Alyssa Milano plays Angel, Jeff Bennett plays Tramp, and Jody Benson plays Lady, and I've covered all of them in previous videos that we listed in the link in the description. Chaz Palminteri plays Buster and is best known for The Usual Suspects, A Bronx Tale, Bullets Over Broadway, and A Guide to Recognizing Your Saints. As I said, this is a direct-to-video sequel to the 1955 Lady and the Tramp, crazy, has a 45% on Rotten Tomatoes, which isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. The movie itself was also not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm pretty sure I've had a couple people message me about this movie being like, oh, I can't wait till you get to this because it's so horrible. Um, so I was expecting it to be way worse than it was. Not great by any means. The dialogue is actually garbage, like actual garbage dialogue but the music i had no idea it was a musical and that made me so excited and the songs wow very generic musical songs were still catchy and sung really well because they had roger bart and susan egan doing the majority of the singing and freaking roger barton's and they're uncredited as the singing voices of scamp and angel roger bart and susan egan susan egan is freaking meg and then she went on to be Belle in Broadway. Like, Susan Egan, like Susan Egan. And she's in multiple voices for Disney characters. Like she's in Spirited Away. And um, she also was in um, Gotta Kick It Up, the Disney Channel original movie as the coach. Like Susan Egan is prime. She's such an amazing singer. And then Roger Bart, like Roger Bart is scam singing voice, insane. And then Jodie Benson obviously does her singing. And I think Jeff Bennett does his singing because Jeff Bennett was in, um, an extremely goofy movie as Bradley Epicross the third. <laughs> and he sounds like that as Tramp, which is really funny. And then Jody Benson as Lady was out of left field. I had no idea that was a thing, which is hilarious and amazing. Um, I'm, didn't, didn't Lady have a British accent in, in Lady and the Tramp? Maybe not. Maybe she didn't. What is a baby anyway? Maybe she didn't. I don't know, but she didn't sound like Lady, which is fine, totally fine. Sturdy events, but that was so crazy. Um, the actual plot is fine. Scamp doesn't want to be a house dog. He wants to be, you know, an adventure, outdoor street dog or whatever, junkyard dog. He wants to be a junkyard dog, um, and he has no idea that Tramp was a junkyard dog. So it's a very classic story of like he wants to be what his dad was, but his dad won't tell him that he was that, so he learns from his mistakes and. Blah, blah, blah. So he goes on this adventure and then his scenes with Angel are very like Lion King 2, Kobo and Kiara, but then there's like the Buster and Scamp scenes are very like Oliver and company. And like, so like, it feels very much like a mashup of a bunch of different like Disney movies. Um, but the songs were fun. I liked that it was a musical. I got like hype as heck when it started and they were singing and I was like, oh my gosh, it's a musical. I always get so excited when it's a musical. Especially because they were like, they were very generic, very generic musical songs, but um, they were good. I liked them. I thought they were catchy. Angel has two lines that I were like, ooh, nice. It's, um, she's been telling Scamp the entire movie, you're not a junkyard dog though. You're not a junkyard dog. You're not meant to be a junkyard dog. And finally, like when he does something you dare, she goes, maybe you do belong here. And like, it hits him so hard because it's the first time she said that and it was an insult. And I was like, dang, Angel came for blood. And then, that's, I thought that was gonna be like her most bloodlust line or whatever. But then later, <laughs> she says, it looks good on you, Buster. The garbage adds some class. <laughs> 
So Buster gets covered in garbage and she says it looks good on him and that the garbage adds some glass and I was like, sick burn. Sick burn, Angel, that burn was amazing. Um, so I loved that. Uh, otherwise, that's everything I have for this because like it could have been so much worse. I was expecting so much worse because I had multiple people, I'm pretty sure, message me and be like, Skip's Adventure, Lady in the 2 is the worst movie. And I had never seen it, so I was like, all right, well, I buy it. Like, I buy that it's horrible. Um, but it wasn't that bad. It was definitely not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, it's not great, but there are definitely worse directed video sequels. Like, Pocahontas 2 is not good <laughs> so like this was fine like definitely not better than like little mermaid 2 and lion king 2 but not as bad as some others so yeah that's everything i have for lady and the tramp 2 scamps adventure my final rating is six <sighs> collars out of ten our total movie count is Parents at Tolton and Cry Count are still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Join Patreon. The tiers, again, are cheaper. Go check them out. Lots of stuff always coming out on Patreon. Buy merch. Merch is always fun. I love merch so much. I wear my hoodies and my shirts all the time. And I use my mug and I have my stickers on my laptop. I don't have a phone case because they didn't make my phone case. <laughs> Which is like, I'm so offended because I have a newer phone. But... It's fine. Um, until next time, comment, like, and subscribe, but I'm not sure if you're you are, so you do, and don't be buster about it. Toodaloo.